Hello and welcome to Excellence Academy. We are still looking at how to investigate the continuity of functions. In a second example, let's look at this um, question. It says investigate the continuity of the function this. Now, here's what I want for you to note. Aside our first example, all right, sometimes we are asked to evaluate continuity of this form. So if I'm given a function in a form like this, how do I investigate the continuity? All right, um, it's as easy as this. For this one here, it says f of x, um, of course, f of x being equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over x squared minus 9. And they said at x not equal to 3. It's very intentional because if I put x as 3 here, I'll have an undefined uh, function. Of course, or, or you can say an indeterminate function. Because x here being 3, this gives you 3 squared, that's 9, minus 9, which is 0. And we said a function becomes indeterminate if its denominator is 0. So since I'm having a 0 denominator here, it becomes an indeterminate function. So hence, this part is settled. Alright, that means x should not be 3, because it will be indeterminate. That's settled here. Let's look at this case. For us to know if this function or if a function of this form is defined or, or is, if it's continue or if it's um, continuous or not continuous, it's as easy as this. We'll take the limit of this function at this point at x equal 3 using any of the methods we discussed in our previous classes. And if our answer gives us 1 over 3, then we can say it's continuous. If our answer does not give us 1 over 3, we say it's not continuous. So the idea is very simple. Simply take the limit of this function for this at x equal to 3. If your answer gives you this here, 1 over 3, then it's continuous. Use any suitable method. If your answer does not give 1 over 3, that means it's not continuous. So let's take this man up. Um, solution. We have the function f of x being equal to um, x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over x squared minus 9. We said at x equal to 3. Now, we said if I use the direct substitution, I'll have 0. Of course, 0 over 0, which is actually um, indeterminate. So let's see if we can use an alternative method and see if our answer gives us 1 over 3. What method can we use here? Uh, this one here is a quadratic equation, right? This one here is a difference of two squares. I can still rewrite this function as being f of x is equal to x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over, this gives you x squared minus 9 is 3 squared. So it becomes difference of two squares and a quadratic equation. So if this is a quadratic equation, let's try to factorize and see if it tends to cancel out. For this, I'm having x squared minus 4x plus 3. My factors here would be x minus 1 and x minus 3. So this will be the factors of this um, quadratic equation. I'll leave a link um, in the description of this video on how to factorize quadratic equations. All right, all over, we've done this before, over and over again. So this is a difference of two squares. So it becomes x plus 3 into x minus 3. I will have this as a difference of two squares. If I look at this critically, I can see x minus 3 and x minus 3. So this can cancel this. So hence, I am reducing this function into x minus 1 all over x plus 3. At this point now, let's put, let's put x as being equal to what I have here, and that's 3. So it means that the function f of x will now be equal to, say x is 3, so it becomes 3 minus 1, that's 3 minus 1, all over x is 3, so it becomes 3 plus 3. If I evaluate this, this gives you 3 minus 1, that's 2, 
all over 3 plus 3. That gives you 6. Reduce this to its lowest term. It's equal to 2 divided here. 1. 2 divided um, 6 divided by 2 gives you 3. So this is now equal to 1 over 3. So observe that if I take the limit of this function at x equal to um, 3, I will have 1 over 3. Since this answer tallies with what I have here, then we can say, hence, the function is continuous. So hence, the function is continuous. Alright, so hence, it's a continuous function. So this is how we evaluate the continuity for functions of this form. We'll be looking at another question that has to do with investigating the continuity of functions. So let's say we are giving um, an example which says investigate the continuity of the function this so i have this so we said when it comes to investigating continuity of functions in forms like this the simple idea is this i would have to take the limit of this function at x equal to one and if my answer gives me two then it's a continuous function if the answer does not give me two then it is not a continuous function so that's how you evaluate this and we said this means that I cannot directly substitute x as 1 because I will have an indeterminate function meaning that the denominator will be 0 because if I put x as 1 it becomes 1 squared which is 1 minus 1 which is 0 so having a 0 denominator means is an indeterminate function so let's take the limit solution for this would be simply take limits, take the limits of this function f of x being equal to this x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over x squared minus 1 as x approaches 1. We'll try to evaluate this. If after solving our answer gives us 2, then it means it's actually um, continuous. If it gives us 2, if it does not give us 2, we know it is not continuous. Alright, let's get this done. Now, usually, if you look at our previous examples, you observe that to evaluate this, what comes to mind first is to use the idea of factorization. Alright, let's try to factorize this. So we can say that f of x being equal to this x squared this minus 4x plus 3 all over x squared minus 1. We can rewrite this to be equal to this, that's x squared minus 4x plus 3 all over this one here, x squared minus. Let's try to express this as a difference of two squares. We know that 1 is the same thing as 1 squared, so it becomes a difference of 2 squared. Alright, so let's get this one done here. Yeah? So we have that f of x is equal to, if you factorize this, of course, factorizing this will give us x minus 1 into x minus 3. Right, so these are the two factors of this um, quadratic. Um, um, expression all over this one here becomes x plus 1 into x minus 1 that's on the idea of difference of two squares as already explained in, in the previous classes from here x minus 1 cancels x minus 1 so the function is now equal to x minus 3 all over x plus 1. So I have this. Our next task will now be to put x put x as equal to what I have here 1. So this will now be equal to I will have the function 
Um, so our next task now we can put x as equal to 1. So put x as equal to 1. We'll have that the function f of x is now equal to x is 1. We're having 1 minus 3 all over x is 1 becomes 1 plus 1. So we're having plus 1. This is equal to 1 minus 3 is minus 2 all over 1 plus 1 is 2. From here, 2 cancels here 1, 2 cancels here 1. So it becomes equal to minus 1 over 1. And that's equal to minus 1. So this gives me minus 1. So observe that if I use, or if I take the limit of this function as x approaches 1, my answer becomes minus 1. But what I was given here is 2. So since minus 1 is not equal to 2, it means that this function is not continuous. So you can say, therefore, therefore, the function is not continuous at x equal to 1. Why is this so? Because our answer on evaluating this limit is not equal to 2 as I have here. So they are not the same thing. So hence, you can say it's not continuous. So this is how you solve problems of this nature.